Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS, now on at 9.30 a.m. Sunday mornings, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus. To start today's show out, I'm going to start out how I do all my hunts this year so far, and that is checking my trail cameras to see what kind of deer I got out here on my property. Um, we've been really fortunate that Big Rack Trophy Products has hooked us up with a couple of cameras to use, and I mean, th these things are absolutely phenomenal. They do everything from video, picture, um, different kind of intervals from 10 second, 30 second to one minute, and they're fully infrared so the deer have no idea that they're out here or any kind of game you're using them for actually. We actually had some good success using cameras when we were bear hunting to kind of tell what was going on and that's kind of what we're doing here with our cameras out here trying to picture where these deer are going to be at certain points of the day so we can get in there and hunt them. Uh, so far this year we've had some pretty good success. We got three really good bucks that if we didn't have these cameras out here we won't even know they were here because nobody's seen them hunting yet because well we haven't been hunting that hard yet and you know we can only sit so many times this year it's season just started but with the rut coming up here we've been having them run by these cameras so frequently that we can kind of start to pattern them out a little bit and with the help of big racks like i said that full hd quality is unreal i'm on my way out hunting right now it's it's a beautiful day the storm's coming in the next three days or so so i'm checking all my cameras on the way in i'm gonna sit up in my tree and look at them see what i got and Hopefully tonight's the night we can get one coming in. I've seen a bunch of does and fawns out of my tree. You all saw me get a doe a couple weeks ago and kind of hoping to get another one of those tonight, but I might hold out for a buck because I did see one small eight pointer out here the other night, but he just, well, year and a half or so, wasn't big enough. So maybe today's the day. So stay tuned to see how things work out for Seth in this evening hunt later on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Don't miss out on the chance for you and your family to attend the 2013 Central Wisconsin Youth Hunters Banquet. At noon on Sunday, October 20th at the Wisconsin Rapids Elk Lodge, it is open to all youth hunters ages 10 to 17. Door prizes, raffles, guest speakers, and a spaghetti dinner are only a few small details. Cost is only $5 and youth are free. So sign up by October 15th because we're limited to 125 people. Stop down here to Bucks and Bulls Archery for your sign-up sheet and details. What's that, buddy? Oh, yeah, it'll be done before the Packer game. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. 
I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time, and I saw bucks on camera I never knew I had. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend, and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive, and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh, and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair experts do it all. So you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax. We'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's Car Star Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability. Unless you've drawn it, you haven't felt smooth. Until you shoot it, you've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed. Available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Today we're at Bucks and Bulls Archery at the shop here and I'm going to tell you a little bit about a couple targets that we carry here. First of all, I'll tell you about these uh, foam layered targets. They're made for broadheads and field points alike. You can shoot either one. The nice thing about it is you can take it out in the field, throw it in the back of your truck. We throw them out on the field and we shoot a couple broadheads a lot of times before we go out into the woods or maybe between the morning and the evening hunt, we'll shoot a couple broadheads and make sure everything's on. And then we have these bag targets. We have about like three different size bag targets. They're only made for field points, not broadheads. Um, a lot of people hang them in the backyard. We got these wooden stands you hang them on, or you can hang them in a basement so you can shoot all year round. They last forever. The bigger ones, if we shoot it up a lot, we have new placement covers. We can slide a new cover on, sew it up for you. It looks like brand new again. And then we got the 3D targets which are realistic. You stand them out in the yard somewhere and shoot at them. Some people use them for decoys and they actually shoot them out of their tree once in a while. Jason and I are, and Seth always use these. We take them out in the field and practice between hunts all the time. I got a big one hanging in my basement. We use these big ones here in the shop. And I mean, they, they take thousands of arrows before they fall apart. And uh, if you come in starting tomorrow, Monday through Friday, and tell me that you heard this on Weekly Outdoor Plus, we'll give you $5 off any one of these targets. And they're already reduced prices, so I, it's a pretty good deal. Now would be the time to pick up your target. Okay, so if you stop down, let us know you heard it on Weekly Outdoor Plus. You'll get your discounted target, and maybe you can let us know if you're seeing any deer out there. Swap a few hunting stories or something. We're doing a little bear hunting. We're doing a little deer hunting. Let's see how it goes. Thanks. Welcome to this week's lesson segment of Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jace Hintz here with you guys again. Uh, we're gonna be going over different techniques and uh, different things you can kind of change up and different ideas when you're thinking about how to set up your hunt to uh, make it so if you're either, you know, got a early in the morning shot or right before dark shot to help you be able to see the best, get the best shot, have the best visual at what you're shooting at. Because, I mean, that's the, probably one of the biggest things like we talked about before. Make sure you can pick out a spot on the animal, not shoot at the whole animal. You don't want to have to shoot at a silhouette or something like that, you know, because it's too dark. And that's one thing where just little tweaks on your equipment. And then also, like, the vision of how you set up your hunt, where you're expecting the deer to come from, what side of the trail you're on. How them little things can also affect it. So, uh, first off, the biggest thing is your peep sight. Um, that's the easiest thing you can adjust, um, and it's just simply the diameter of it. If you have one that's too small, it's going to make it a lot darker, no matter what. And I mean, that's a big key. A lot of people hunt with really, really big ones. Yes, that is why, because it is going to make it easier to see. The only downfall of having a bigger one is the fact that, one, you can't aim as accurately with it. And two, there's a lot of play. You know, you're not sure if you're, as long as you still have your good anchor point, you should be really close. But the bigger it is, the harder it is to tell if you're looking dead center in it. So you have to find the happy medium, depending where you're hunting. If you're on a field in the woods, the whole nine yards, you gotta figure out what size will work best for you. That's something, you know, stop into a pro shop like Bucks and Bulls, have them help you out, try different ones, you know. Obviously it's good lighting in there, cause that's, you know, you're shooting their competitions and stuff. So you gotta make sure if it works there it's not always going to work in the woods you got to make sure it's you know if it is darker you'll be able to shoot it um the next thing is your sight the biggest thing there is a lot of people have lights on their sights now um the only downfall on that is it doesn't count for pope and young or boone and crockett or anything like that so i mean if you're planning on shooting this buck for pope and young 
and you have a light on your site, it's technically not legal. So what I recommend doing is finding a site that's bright enough with the fiber optics that it's given, like the HHA on this bow here. This HHA is definitely bright enough by far. Um, they're actually sometimes too bright, but they have the covers for them where you can cover them up, which is absolutely perfect. It's getting close to dark, you can get it a little bit brighter. Right in the middle day, you know, you got a bright sun in your face, you want to turn it down. That way, what you're doing there is adjusting your so you can see past it. If you have it too bright, you're, again, you're going to block out your target that you're aiming at. You're not going to be able to see the deer, the bear, whatever, as close as you could if you have it a little bit dimmer. You know, you just want to be able to see the tip of it. That's all that matters. It doesn't have to be a big glowing dot because, again, the bigger your sight is, the bigger your pin is, the uh, less accurate you're going to be with it because you can't fine-tune exactly where you're hitting on the animal. you got a big basketball instead of a little ping-pong ball you're aiming with. So the smaller the better, obviously. Um, the other thing then also, think about it when you get in the woods. Um, when you pull back, again, one big problem when you're shooting outside and it's going to make it hard to see your target again is if you have any glares on your, uh, basically on your string is where it's going to be. Um, if you have a hat, yeah, it could help if the sun's behind you. You got a sun from the side of you again, that's going to hurt you because it's going to be glaring on your string. If it's glaring, it's very hard to shoot it. Um, other things as in like when I bear hunted uh, two weeks ago we had a nice bright trail in front of us the problem is that was our four-wheeler trail it's not where the bears came from so they come in from behind it where it's a lot darker swampy area a lot of shade a lot of cover so you got bright to dark and the bright to dark makes it darker where the bears are because your eyes adjust to the brighter setting in front of it so when you're trying to look past it it's harder to look past it so that's something again you know think about it when you're setting up your tree stand you know if say you know you're hunting the wind or whatever but you can move three trees over better chance of blocking the sun or a better chance of you know not having the difference in darkness and lightness affect you if anything you want them to be in the brightness because it'll show the target better if you're in the dark it's okay because you'll, you'll still be able to see your stuff if you have the proper pin and the proper peep sight so go over those little things on your bow think is you know just a lot of people don't think about it they just throw a peep in there throw a sight on there will be good but it actually does make a difference and you don't want that to be the one difference that makes you not successful so think about it if you have any questions again ask gary at bucks and bulls my dad he's always there ready to help you out and uh if anything else come contact us on the internet or you know we got facebook the whole nine yards check us out and uh yeah as always tune in next week have some more stuff for you bucks and bulls archery in stevens point is now under new ownership and has a new location stop down to 3272 church street and meet the new owner gary hanks his fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Looking for some family fun this fall? Check out Trebitowski's Corn Maze just off Highway 54, minutes east of Stevens Point. This 18 plus acre corn maze is now open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. until October 26th. And while you're here, also enjoy the Petting Zoo Farmyard, Pumpkin Patch, Hay Rides, Pig Races, Scavenger Hunt, and the Sunken Ship Play Area right next to the concession stand. So get outdoors more this fall at Trebitowski's Corn Maze on Highway Double B just off Highway 54 East. For more information, check out Treb cornmaze.com real deal mineral deer eat it gone real deal mineral is the real deal other minerals on the market contain up to 70 percent salt real deal has less than seven percent salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns and bigger horns mean bigger trophies I tried real deal mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week real deal mineral Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs, and we specialize in a wide variety of products, meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? 
That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Alright, now it's time for one of our more exciting segments here on Weekly Outdoor Plus. It's where we get to keep our fans connected with the show. Don't forget, you can send in your pictures to weeklyoutdoorplus at live.com or link them up to us on Facebook to get in this segment of our show. Each week as Sopa Cellular makes it extremely easy for you to capture these photos and then send and share them around effortlessly. Our first picture this week is of Grant, all tuckered out after checking trail cameras with me one morning. And next up we have Drake, headed in for an evening sit with his dad. And here's one from Elliot with a nice buck he shot this year, his first buck ever. Then we have this one from Isaac and his 29 pound turkey that he got with five beards. And here's one of Jordan who you might remember from our turkey hunt earlier this spring with a doe he harvested this year. And here's a cool photo one of our fans got going out to sit one beautiful fall morning. This next one comes from Katie with her mission crossbow all ready for bear hunting. And our last one this week comes from our friend Shaz who harvested this doe just last week. So stop on down to Sopa Cellular today and check out all their great deals and stay tuned for more Weekly Outdoor Plus action. Hey, I'm here at Bucks and Bulls Archery. I just installed a HHA optimizer sight on my mission crossbow. And I'll tell you the combination is awesome. I'm gonna go out and try it, but I, it's gonna it's gonna work. I mean, it's it's set up to work. And uh, we actually set an optimizer HHA sight on Seth's uh, Creed bow too. He's already got this one sighted in it, and it works fine. So I'm sure this will work good. But anyway, we have a single crosshair scope instead of like 20, 30, 40, 50, it's just one crosshair and you can dial the uh, scope in to any from 20 to 80 yards on this crossbow and they actually make them for guns. I'm going to put one on my shotgun and one on my muzzle and they go out to 200 yards but you don't have to gap shoot or guess or aim high or aim low, you just dial it right into the yards and shoot. And if you don't have time to dial it, you can still set it at like like on the crossbow here, I'd probably set it on 30 and I could, if it's a quick shot, I'll still be good. If I got time, I can move it right to the yard if he's out on a food plot or something. It comes with a bunch of sight tapes and on the directions, it shows how to sight it in at 20 and 60. And you put in your sight tape, you just read the instructions, it's really easy. Or come in here, we can help you do it too. Now we got it sighted in at 20 yards. I did that here at Bucks and Bulls Archer. We got a 20 yard range. I can't shoot any farther than that in here. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to try it longer distances so I get my sight tape set and I'm going to shoot different broadheads at different distances and I'll tell you it means a lot to shoot a broadhead I think I said that last week about your conventional bow it means a lot to shoot a broadhead before you hunt same as a crossbow you got to practice with your broadhead because they don't fly the same but I've been field testing a lot of broadheads now and uh, I can help you out to get the combination that'll make it really accurate for you so you can kill some animals and Okay, we're gonna head out in the field now and give her a try. Yesterday I shot my mission, our uh, Matthews Creed bowl at 20, 30, 40, and 50. I actually ended up with pretty good groups. I used a toxic broadhead and a slick trick broadhead. They grouped the same, so I think I'm ready there. Today I'm here with my crossbow. It's a mission crossbow made by Matthews. I sighted in at 20 at the shop just to save some time. Now I'm doing 60 out here. It's a little breezy. I'll tell you, there's nothing easy about shooting 60 yards no matter what you're shooting. But if I can, if I can get a nice group at 60 here somewhat. 
I'll be able to put my sight tape on. I have this HHA optimizer scope with the dial. I don't know if you can see that. See the dial here? It, it'll tell me what sight tape to put on. If I get 20 and 60, then I can just turn my dial to any yards I want from, it'll go from 20 yards to 80, and I'll be accurate with just one cross here, and I just move it to where it needs to be. Okay, we'll try the third shot here at 60. See where I end up. I could use a rest probably, be a little bit more accurate. See what that looks like. Well, you can see my group here, probably five inches at 60 yards with the shuttle T-lock broadheads and um, toxic broadheads, I mixed them up. I shot 60 yards maybe with five inch group here. That's about as tight as I can get it. I don't know, maybe I'm not a good shot, but uh, and it is a little breezy. And I'm gonna go back to the shop, Bucks and Bulls Archery, and I'm gonna put the sight tape on and try it at like 20, 30 in there. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put my stuff away here. That's pretty good for today. I got 60 and 20 done and I'm gonna see how the sight tape works later, but the HHA optimizer scope. They make them for guns now too, they're pretty awesome. I got one for my shotgun, one for my muzzle loader for down in Illinois. Let's we'll see how that works. Um, I've been talking to all the crossbow reps when I'm at work and uh, pretty much all of them are saying that the, they passed the law so everybody in the state of Wisconsin will be able to use a crossbow next year legally, no matter how old you are, if you got disability or not. I know some people are for it, some aren't. I guess to me it don't really matter. You get, you get a few more people out in the woods and maybe you get some kids shooting them that can't pull back 30 pound bull to hunt yet. Looking for some family fun this fall? Check out Trebitowski's Corn Maze just off Highway 54, minutes east of Stevens Point. This 18 plus acre corn maze is now open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. until October 26th. And while you're here, also enjoy the Petting Zoo Farmyard, Pumpkin Patch, Hay Rides, Pig Races, Scavenger Hunt, and the Sunken Ship Play Area right next to the concession stand. So get outdoors more this fall at Trebitowski's Corn Maze on Highway Double B just off Highway 54 East. For more information, check out Treb cornmaze.com Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair Experts do it all so you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax, we'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's CarStar Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. It's summertime and the living's easy. If you start all your projects here at Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 in Stevens Point. From seeds to irrigation and endless lawn and garden tools, we have it all, so you can get your work done and enjoy it this summer. We also do screen repair, lawnmower blade and knife sharpening, and offer the supplies to put in your own well, including equipment rental. And while you're here, pick up your seed and sets in bulk so you always have the right amount. So make us your lawn and garden headquarters this summer. That's Frank's Harbor on Highway 10 at Stevens Point. See you soon. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Don't miss out on the chance for you and your family to attend the 2013 Central Wisconsin Youth Hunters Banquet. At noon on Sunday, October 20th at the Wisconsin Rapids Elk Lodge, it is open to all youth hunters ages 10 to 17. Door prizes, raffles, guest speakers, and a spaghetti dinner are only a few small details. Cost is only $5 and youth are free. 
So sign up by October 15th because we're limited to 125 people. Stop down here to Bucks and Bulls Archery for your sign-up sheet and details. What's that, buddy? Oh yeah, it'll be done before the Packer game. And now back to Seth's evening hunt where he has this doe fawn come in bright and early, pretty much right after he got in there. She kept me well entertained because she laid down right in front of me about 25-30 yards or so for almost two hours. Unfortunately that meant I had to sit very still, couldn't move, to make sure that if any other deer came she wouldn't see me and spook them away from me. And when she finally did get up, she was in no hurry to get off this ridge, just munching on leaves and acorns, taking her time. And right as I was deciding to wait, I could hear something walking up behind me. And sure enough, here come a small eight point buck. He was a unique little buck too, but I knew right away that he wasn't big enough for me to shoot. With about a half an hour left of daylight, I figured I would wait out and see if there was any more coming behind him. But unfortunately for me, these are the only two that I get to see tonight. But this buck will look good in the next couple of years, as he's got a little bit of character going with him already. And this is a great sign for me on this property, as I'm already seeing deer early October moving in the daylight, including a buck. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week.